Hi everyone, this is Kelvin. Today I'm going to show you one issue that our customer always bring up, which is the motor didn't start up. Uh, I think overall it's just uh, the setting problem because our motor are using very, very uh, strong magnet. And if the setting on the motor, you if you flash the firmware for, like uh, you change to BL S or you change to other firmware, then you might mess up the setting and then it's not going to spin up correctly. So in here, I'm going to show you how to correctly fresh the firmware for the B-Brain. First of all, I'm going to show you this one. It's not spin up for the motor one and motor four. And uh, in here, let me show you how it works right now. I already bound it to my remote in here. And when I arm it, you see motor one and motor four. It's struggling and now it's not even stopped. And then how we get this problem fixed, just connect to USB cable and then um, with your computer. Just go to your browser and then get to escconfigurator.com. You can connect to the ESC on your on your drone, on your flight controller. And then just read the setting. And now it's reading the ESC setting on the drone. And in here, this is basically a, a factory before setting. This is the this is the key, start power. So if I move the start power uh stop power boost to the maximum and also the the maximum stop power protection i just move these two things to the maximum and then in here right setting you will save this setting to the esc and then now we will try it again so i'm going to hold it and i'm going to apply I, i'm going to arm it see it's it's all spin up okay and then the other thing I want to show you is uh, I know a lot of people they prefer to use Bihali S and in here on all our wood the the factory before setting uh, for the firmware it's uh, Blue J because I feel Blue J is better and also it got bi-directional D shot so when you connect to the ESC configurator you can also fresh it to uh, be a highly S or Blue J. There, there is, uh, the there is the option is open for you. You can do it by yourself. For example, if I click here, fresh or ESC, and then the biggest part in here, see like Be a highly S and Blue J. Both firmware, it's here. It's you, 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 you can use either one. But just make sure if you're using the B brain, if you are freshing B brain, no matter which B brain, BLV1 to BLV4. We all using the same target name, SH40. If you use some other firmware and then you plug in the power, you might just burn the MOSFET. You will just kill it. So in here, remember, if you want to fresh the ESC firmware, this section SH40, you have to stay the same. And then the version, of course, I always pick the nearest one. And then the, free, uh, the PWM frequency in here, I feel 48 is the best. So let me explain a little bit about uh, 24, 48, and 96. So this is the, this is the frequency uh, that the MCU sending signal to the MOSFET. When you have a, lot, a higher frequency, it got more resolutions. When you check on the, on the, on the, on the, on the wave, 24 is more like a square wave. It's like a lot of block to make it close to a sine wave. But 96, the block is smaller and tiny. So it feel more smooth, but it's less torque. If you want to have a powerful drone, have a lot of uh, throttle punch, 24 is good, but it's less efficiency. And 96, it's smooth, but it's less torque. And I feel 48 is the perfect sweet spot for this type of uh, whoops. So I always choose 48 and then just click fresh and you'll fresh to it. And no matter you use Blue J or BL Halley S, just make sure SH40, you have to make sure this is the right one. And then the other things, if you think your, your, your ESC is really broken, your MOSFET is burned, then I have another video will show you how to test the MOSFET by using a multimeter uh, dial options to to, to check out your MOSFET and make sure if your MOSFET is burned out or not. So 
uh, I will have that video link uh, at the end of this video. Just check it out. All right, thank you.